Hi, this is Mark Kemper with EMS, and today we're doing a video on scanning a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, this is one of the latest cars from Lamborghini, and we're going to scan the entire car today um, so that we can go back and design some different aftermarket parts. So as you can see, we've got the car lifted up off the ground. Uh, right now you see the Surfazer 3D scanner in the background. We're using that to quickly scan the entire car so we have the whole thing. And then we're going to come back in with our Creoform Metroscan scanner, which is a handheld scanner that's optically tracked. And that's going to allow us to get into some of these tight areas. And then also what's important is getting up underneath the car um, because we need to know where mount, po mount, mount points and other uh, critical information is. So we'll use that to go around the car and get literally underneath it uh, all the way around the car. So in this case, we're using two different scanning technologies. We'll put all the data together. We're using some different reference spheres and, and we'll be using some targets and things today. So uh, at EMS, you know, we do a fair amount of uh, cars like this. Uh, sometimes it's the entire car. Sometimes it's just individual pieces of the car. And then we're gonna go in and, and design different aftermarket spoilers, splitters, air ducts, maybe even a whole new front fascia. So stick around and we're gonna kind of show you the whole process and how we do it. Starting with the uh, Surfazer, we're going to mount it up high in the air like you see here. And we're going to probably take about, uh, about six scans, eight scans around the vehicle. Uh, basically kind of all four corners of the car and then maybe one or two on each side. Um, and then we're going to put it down on the ground and repeat that process. And each scan will probably take uh, about 10 minutes to do. And the way the Surfazer works, it's called a hemispherical scanner. So it basically uh, spins around and basically shoots out a laser that's returned straight back into a sensor uh, that basically is firing out a million points per second, returning that to that sensor and basically recording the 3D shape of the vehicle. So depending on the density uh, will depend on how fast the scanner will spin around. But the advantage of it is, is you can quickly scan uh, something like a car uh, all the way up to, you know, really a, a building uh, this scanner will go out uh, about uh, 80 feet, uh, has effective range, and uh, at a very, very high resolution and high data quality. So we basically move around the vehicle, take those different scans, uh, first, as I mentioned, starting up high, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work down low. Now, the other great thing about the Surfazer is it's battery operated, so it's easy to put on a jib arm or up on a, uh, a tripod like we have it here, or to quickly throw it down on the ground it's also remote controlled. So we'll move all the way around the vehicle and get all those scans. Okay, so here we are now in Design X and we have the uh, 16 scans uh, from the uh, Surfazer. And what we've done is we've aligned those 16 scans using those spheres uh, that we had on the ground and put those 16 scans all together. And then we merged them all into one scan and then we decimated it down. So right now this is about uh, just under 10 million polygons in size after doing some data reduction. Now you'll notice uh, here, you know, we don't have the tail, uh, the headlights, uh, the grill area in here is kind of rough. You know, some of the areas around the windows are rough. And that's basically uh, because most scanners don't like real shiny, translucent, or dark things. Um, now dark flat isn't bad. You can see the tires uh, did pretty well. Even the wheels did okay combination of dark and shiny um, is certainly bad and translucent of course is terrible because it just passes through. So you're just not getting a good return uh, of that uh, signal uh, you know, back to the sensors on the scanner. But if you look at the rest of the body, this hasn't been smoothed in any way and you can see it's very high quality data. And the, uh, what we were trying to do here is basically quickly scan the entire car because what we're really after is really kind of the bottom part of the car. Um, kind of from here down because this is where we're going to be doing all of the uh, all of the work now The problem we have is we only have got the car a couple feet off the ground and even putting the surfacer down on the ground It's such a shallow angle to try to get up under the vehicle You know the data underneath there just isn't as good of quality as we would like So what we're going to do after this is go back with the Creoform Metroscan and get up underneath the vehicle now, why we decided to use the Surfazer first is that was a quick way to get the whole vehicle. And then we'll use this model to then align this, the uh, Creoform Metroscan data sets um, up to this vehicle and merge them together. So then we'll have a really nice, good quality model of the whole vehicle, as well as the bottom of the vehicle uh, in high detail. 
Now we certainly could have scanned the whole vehicle with the metro scan, uh, but it was it was really fast to also use the surfacer to get the whole vehicle, um, and then go back and use the metro scan. So again, you can see the quality of the data. This hasn't been smoothed out in any way. Uh, so now we're basically ready to go uh, use the metro scan and uh, get the rest of the car, and we'll uh, we'll show you what that process looks like. Okay, so here we are back in the uh, EMS scanning lab, and you notice the uh, camera system there back in the corner. That camera system actually tracks that head. That head has six millimeter targets all around it, uh, and the camera is looking at it. That's kind of why it looks funny, but basically it's so the camera system can see it at any angle. So the scan head itself has two laser beams like you see there, and they distort over the part. And there's two sensors that pick up those laser beams, and that's basically how it collects the 3D shape. Now, you'll also notice another set of targets on the car. Those are 8 millimeter targets. The camera can identify uh, the scan head uh, targets and then those separate larger targets, and that allows it to uh, uh, basically track the object you're scanning. So if the car were to move, or if we actually wanted to move the camera system around, it has those larger reference points. So it's actually uh, uh, tracking two things, those larger uh, targets and then the, the smaller ones on the head. And you can see this allows us to get up underneath the vehicle where it's critical we get some uh, good data up under there um, that we need for the design of these aftermarket products. So by lifting the car up a couple feet um, and using the metro scan, we can get underneath the vehicle and get all kinds of uh, data uh, that we need uh, up under the car. So it's a very versatile system. It allows us to move around the entire vehicle uh, and scan it. You can see here doing the back of the vehicle. So we can go around and get the whole vehicle uh, using this system from all different angles by putting some of those targets on, tracking that head, and going around the vehicle. So now our next step will be uh, to bring in the MetroScan data and tie it all together with the uh, Surfacer data. So now that we're done with the uh, MetroScan data, we're back here in DesignX, and we're going to bring in the um, MetroScan data, and we'll bring them in here, and you can see what they look like. And if I rotate around, we'll put them in green. And let's go ahead and turn off the uh, the uh, let's turn off the tires and the wheels, and um, kind of roll this around. Let's turn the uh, the uh, stands off too. So here is just the uh, MetroScan data already aligned up to the Surfacer data, okay? And as you saw in the video, we were able to get up underneath the vehicle quite nicely. And what's key to us under here is these mount points. So as we're going to be designing uh, aftermarket accessories that are either going to bolt up onto the car or if we're replacing anything, some of these key mount points are, are very critical. So you can see the MetroScan did, it, did a great job getting all this data. Now you can see here where we put some targets and tape and it's certainly going to pick that up, but that's okay. Uh, we can always smooth that out or we can go back to the Surfacer data, which doesn't have it, and, um, and use that data if we need, need to. But again, you can see the high quality uh, of the uh, MetroScan data on getting those lower areas of the vehicle. Uh, let's go around to the back. You can see it even picked up the exhaust tips uh, quite well as well. So now we've got some really high quality uh, clean data underneath the vehicle with all of those key mount points uh, that we can use uh, in our design. Uh, so again, if I turn back on uh, the, uh, the Surfacer data and rotate it around, you can see how uh, having the two data, data sets merged together really gives us a nice model to work with so that we can uh, really go to the next stage and start working on the design of some front splitters, some side ground effects, some rear diffusers, and some other products. Thanks for taking the time today to watch this video. I hope you learn more about the 3D scanning process, what it takes to scan a vehicle like this. Uh, in this case, we use two different uh, 3D scanning technologies. Um, check back on our website uh, often as we're gonna be uh, updating this project, showing some of the uh, products we're actually gonna design and prototype for this vehicle. And you can do that by going to uh, www.ems-usa.com.